the majority of voters looking to put excess tax revenue from the corporate kicker tax refund to fund public schools K-12. through The passage of the measure would mean a lot for public education. Like everyone, um, public entities have also had to deal with the changes in the economy and sort of how do we bounce back from that. But Democratic Senator Alan Bates says schools shouldn't get used to it. You know, sometimes the kicker doesn't kick. Sometimes it does. And I've been in the position where we're, we're sending a billion dollars back on a kicker and cutting and cutting K-12 budget at the same time. It's crazy. A tax that doesn't look like it's going to happen, 79, the real estate transfer tax. A uh, real estate transfer tax is an extra tax that happens when you sell your residence or you sell your business. We don't have those in Oregon. The measure stops the government from imposing new real estate transfer taxes. Current law does that, but it can be lifted with a simple vote by the legislature. Basically, a yes vote on 79 eliminates that power. Lastly, Measure 84, which would phase out existing inheritance taxes on large estates, looks to fail. Ultimately, Bates says the results of last night's election and these tax measures will work out for Oregon's economy. I think that uh, in the long run they will help Oregon.